In this video, I will be reviewing this Royal Clutch RK84 keyboard. This is a mechanical keyboard and it has three connection modes. It has a wired connection with USB-C. It has a wireless 2.4 GHz dongle connection and it has a Bluetooth connection. This keyboard comes in three key modes. So you have the blue, the brown and the red. I got the brown one, which means that the keys don't make too much noise when they click. By the way, if you want to check out this keyboard, take a look at the link in the description. I have also included a coupon code that will give you a discount on Amazon for this keyboard. So feel free to use it. So let me open it first and show what's in there. Also, in this video, I'm going to show you how to program the lighting in this keyboard and how to put it in pairing mode and how to pair it with Bluetooth. So this is a keyboard. It is an 80% keyboard, so it's not very big. Oh, it's really heavy. This is a keyboard up close. It really feels sturdy. So as I told you, the keys don't make too much noise because these are the brown keys. So this is the side of the keyboard. And here also on this keyboard, this is USB-C connection and the cable is provided. It is here. I'm going to be unboxing it soon. And it has also two USB uh, like outputs, USB-A. So it can also work as a USB hub, which is very nice. So on the back of the keyboard, you have two switches. The first switch here is for Bluetooth and for also the wireless connection. So for Bluetooth, put it on B like this and for the wireless connection with the 2.4 gigahertz dongle put it on G so it is now on G and this one here is on off so to turn the keyboard on or off if the keyboard is wired you don't have to turn it off so notice here the serial number it's very important to take the two first numbers of the serial number because you need to install the software according to these two numbers so this one is 2-1 and I'm going to show you later how to install the software for it. So let me now continue the unboxing. So this is everything that comes with the keyboard. You have here two magnetic legs in case you like the keyboard to be like higher than this. So these you can simply, I think, put them like this here and this one here. And this way the keyboard is higher. They are sturdy, they are not bad. So let me remove them. You also have, this is like plier to remove the keys if you want to remove them. And these are extra keys. If you have a problem with one of the keys, you can change it. And this is the USB-C cable. So let me plug it in the computer. I have a Windows 10 computer. It should work directly. So the keyboard lights up, as you notice. And now you notice that I mean, on the camera, it seems that it is blinking, but in reality, you don't see it blinking. This is only like the, uh, the refresh rate of the camera. It's not high enough to keep up with the lights here. So these are the lights. I'm going to show you a little bit how the lights work. For the lights, you need the function key and you need the home and, and the arrow keys only. So if you press function and home, the lighting mode changes. As you notice let me increase the intensity of the light so that you can see it so to increase the intensity of the light function plus up arrow so this is increasing the intensity if you want to lower the intensity of the lights function down arrow and if you want to change the background color of the lights it is function and so now it is red so if you want it constant red let's say let me try to put it constant red. So I'm toggling the lighting with the home. So this is constant lighting. So here 
I'm changing the colors blue this is pink this is white and so on and if you have it like in breathing mode or something like it changes you can control the speed of the changing with these arrows here so function right arrow it speeds up as you notice and function left arrow it becomes like slower so to put it in bluetooth mode you can turn this one here to be so now it is in bluetooth mode and then also you need to turn it on and then you need to press function and then q w e and wait for it and now it is in padding mode notice like the q it is blinking by itself so now it is in padding mode and now you can pair it with your computer so when you put it in pairing mode go to your bluetooth on windows 10 so here i clicked on the tray icon and then i clicked on bluetooth and then add a bluetooth device and then click on the plus here add a bluetooth or other device and then click on bluetooth and here you have rk84 3.0 click on it and it should connect in a couple of seconds and here it is connected so now to turn the bluetooth off all you have to do is turn this to g and now if you want to use it as wireless you see this dongle here just remove it and of course disconnected and now simply put it you see the p it means it goes into wireless mode and as soon as i put the dongle here it should work in wireless mode and the p should turn off by itself and you see the p turned off by itself it's not blinking anymore so key wise the keys are really nice they don't click and i told you before this is because i got the brown keys as you see here so the color is brown and the brown keys they don't click it feels sturdy it is nice the layout is nice it has multimedia keys here and to activate them you need to use the function and the multimedia key so this is plus minus and this is a mute here so let me show you now how to download and install the right software for your keyboard depending on its serial number to install the software go to this website in your web browser rkgamingstore.com and here click on software and then if you have a pop-up you can simply close it and choose your keyboard here so we have the rk84 when you hover over it you have two options manual and software of course you can download the user manual but it is also provided with the keyboard in print so click on software here because we're installing the software and the download begins so when the download finishes simply click on open the containing folder or go to your downloads folder and here double click on the software and double click also on the folder and I mentioned before that if you have the serial number that begins with 20 you should choose this one because it has 20 but mine begins with 21 so I'm gonna extract this folder here so to extract it simply right click on it select copy go to the downloads folder right click on it and then select paste so here it is extracted open the folder and simply double click the file that is in the folder so here if you get this message click on more info and then click on run anyway and then click on yes so here i selected this because i'm sure that the software is legitimate so now you are prompted to select your language so select your language and then click on ok next next and then click on next again and install so the software will be installed you can leave run rk rgb keyboard version 2.0 checked 
so the software will run automatically or otherwise you can run it also from the icon that was created here so i'm gonna click on finish and the software should run automatically if your keyboard is not connected you should of course connect it to your computer with the wired connection so that you can control the keyboard so here you have the options in the software you have profiles you have the macros you can choose the lighting here and you can choose the lighting mode and so on so in summary i really like this keyboard it feels really sturdy it doesn't flex it is really well made there are no faults anywhere and also the color is nice i like the black color it comes also in white if you want it in white and i mostly like the variety of inputs it has so a wired input it has bluetooth and it has also a wireless 2.4 gigahertz dongle and also it has a usb hub which is a very nice touch from royal clutch what i like less about this keyboard is that you don't have dedicated media keys but i think royal clutch took this decision because they wanted to make like an 80 percent keyboard a small keyboard so this is understandable so i hope you liked my video and my review of the royal clutch rk84 wireless and wired and bluetooth keyboard so if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel i want to thank you all for watching and see you in the next video